Millions of gallons of highly volatile crude oil are rolling into Hampton Roads. A CSX hauls shake oil from North Dakota to a storage facility in Yorktown. Some environmental activists tell investigative reporter Nick Oxner these trains pose a danger to nearby residents. And Nick, there have been several major accidents involving oil trains in the past year. Yeah, Regina, there have been at least five major derailments involving trains carrying crude oil from the Bakken Shale in North Dakota. In just the last year, the most deadly one here, right here in Quebec last September. But there were four others, one here in New Brunswick, Canada, another over here in North Dakota, one down in Alabama, and the most recent one in just this past January right here in Philadelphia. This Balkan shale oil is explosive. It's being hauled in here to be stored and then exported for refining. Glenn Bessa is director of Virginia Sierra Club and has concerns over the train service that started in December, which hauls millions of gallons of raw crude oil to Plains Terminal Storage Facility in York County. We really think that people need to be aware of this and take special precautions. The CSX trains, like the one in this amateur YouTube video, carry dozens of tanker cars, each loaded down with 30,000 gallons of raw crude oil. I mean, if you were someone who lived along this railway here, you know, would you be concerned? I would be very concerned about that. Um, the, the, the fact that uh, this oil has actually been involved in five explosions in the last year raises real questions as to its safety. These train tracks end here at this storage facility in Yorktown, but the trains that haul crude oil here start thousands of miles away in North Dakota. The Bakken oil shale in North Dakota is pumping hundreds of thousands of gallons of light, sweet crude oil each month. It's really important with a fuel this volatile that uh, emergency preparedness people be aware of what you're dealing with in case there was an accident here. I think as a, as a resident, no matter where you live, you should know what the hazards potentially are. Paul Long is the assistant chief for York County Emergency Management and says his department is capable of handling the dangers that comes with the millions of gallons of flammable oil rolling through town. The hazards that it present are are similar to some of those that are faced on the roadway with, with tankers that are moving gasolines and other, other uh, petroleum products. Uh, it's just being moved by rail uh, in this particular case at a higher volume. CSX declined requests for an interview but said in a statement, the company provides information about hazardous material shipments to first responders on request and uses a program that gives emergency organizations real-time access to information on the location of those trains. But Glenn Bessa with the Sierra Club says oil trains are just too dangerous to continue relying on in the future. And I'd be insisting on new rail cars uh, and whether or not we should be shipping this oil at all. Now, CSS also tells me they are part of an industry group working to increase safety protocols for shipments of Bakken crude oil. I've put more information on those efforts on our website, WVEC.com. Nick Oxner, 13 News Now.